Welcome back to Take 5 and Company. Have you ever had those points in maybe your back or your thighs or your arms? They're just always a little sore. You can't quite work the kinks out of them. Well, today, personal trainer Mighty Joe is here to talk with us about trigger points and a little recovery and some ways to kind of work those things out. So explain the concept of these things that we have in our bodies. Well, what we're going to do is deal with something called self-myofascial release. And, and we have this stuff called fascia that runs all through our body, much like a boneless, skinless chicken breast has that white filmy stuff that yeah, covers stuff it. Yeah, stuff on top. We yeah. have that too. It, it runs through and around our entire body like, like taffy or cotton candy wrapped around everything. And a lot of times the muscles in the, the taffy kind of bind up and they don't move. And so, so I use a towel to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. Um, is that If you have like a knot, and we'll just call this towel your muscle and call it a hamstring even. Sure. Up your back here, up you'll say there, there's a knot. I feel this tight spot, this tender spot, and they try to stretch, stretch, stretch. And all they're doing is tightening the knot, never releasing the knot. So you're always going to have that kind of like that little kink in your there's body. There's going to be that kink. It's going to just create dysfunction. It's going to just become like a domino effect. You're going to end up hurting other places as well. And, and everybody has this. It's not people who train hard necessarily. Uh, sitting at a desk all day is pretty demanding to the body. You know, not moving is and very And those demanding. are going to give you the spots on like your neck and back? It'll be very predictable because you're head forward all day long, so you're going to have this tension along oh, your yeah. back, and you're just going to feel it. And there's all these movements that are predictable as far as the, the pain you're going to cause. Uh, where you have trigger points or how you respond to them is going to be a little bit different possibly. But if you, if you can find them, that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to untie the knot rather than stretch the knot tighter and tighter. Okay. So one of the first tools people could use here is a tennis ball. So I wanted to have you just put okay. your foot on top of that. Okay. It's just an old tennis ball. It costs you almost nothing. Go to any sort of, you know, tennis court and find sure. one laying around by the fence. I just want you to put as much pressure on it as you can handle, and if there's pain beyond kind of like a, maybe a 7 or 8 on a 1 to 10 scale, I want to stop there and just want to hold that trigger point. And you may feel nothing. It's, it's perfectly fine if you feel nothing. Nope. In fact, it's preferable if you feel nothing. Nope, I don't feel anything. Okay. Look at Great. one part of my body that's all right. You are a fine tuned machine. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is just try the other foot then and see if there's a difference because there, there's, there's not always symmetry in the now body. It's so. gonna, now it's all going to go downhill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. There we go. Nope. Okay, so we've got nothing. Uh, it's a tennis ball. It, it's a very broad brush approach we're taking here, too, because it's, it's kind of a soft tool to use. Uh, you, could, you could use a lacrosse ball, baseballs, possibly. I wouldn't use something too dense because it's You don't want to hurt this, yourself you in the process. Yourself, don't want to bruise yourself. Don't want to break anything. Uh, okay. So a tennis ball is a great starting point. Uh, another tool you see often, especially in gyms, is something called a foam roll. Okay. Uh, still named because it's made out of foam, and it's a roll. Okay. Um, generally about six inches in diameter. You can find them anything from about a foot to three feet long. I'm going to have you lie down on the floor now, or actually okay. have you sit down with your feet towards me. Okay. And I just want to put your calves on that, so we're going to start working up the chain. Okay. And you can do one calf or both. And okay. you just, just want to put as much weight as you can in it. So you don't have to so much actively push down as you do just let your body sink into the roll. Because gravity's going to do its thing if you find any tender points here. On that 1 to 10 scale, 7 or 8 is what we're looking for. We're going to find them. A little under here, and not then under the side. So, so when you find <clears> it, what's <throat> tempting to do is just start rolling back and forth like a rolling yeah. pin. And it does feel good to do that. And it's not bad to do that for maybe a, a few laps back and forth on the roll. But once, once you kind of feel like you're loosened up, let it sit for 20 to 30 seconds. Because once you have that 20 to 30 seconds, your, your body plays these nervous system games and it will allow that knot to untie. Okay. And rather than just kind of rolling back and forth and moving, we want it to just dissipate and go away. Uh, another common place people have issues is on their back. Oh, yes. So we yes. have you just slide down a little okay. bit towards there. Okay. And, and just lie straight back and kind of put this mid spine or so. Okay. And I want to have you basically hug yourself as tight as you can all the way around. Lift your hips up off the floor. And you can just roll a little bit back and forth. You might yep. have happy thoughts in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you sit on the computer very often. Yeah, I do. Snap, crackle, pop in there. Oh, my God. If you find a tender spot, stay on it. Remember, just stay on the thing. Foam roll, again, six-inch diameter, so it's a pretty broad brush area. We're not going to pinpoint exactly where the, the tender spot is possibly, but that's fine because you're new to this. So if, if this works, it works. If this doesn't work, this is when we start upgrading the tools. <laughs> um, you're coming home with me tonight. <laughs> Uh, this is again where, where people use tennis balls or you know taped together is, is the next upgrade I would go to because then I could really start to pinpoint both sides of your spine. Um, then of course I have my product. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> your product, Joe. This is something that's called what? Uh, I'll spell it for you. B L O O B dash A L L Z. It's pronounced blue balls. Blue balls. You say blue, it how you like. Blue balls. It's uncomfortable when you do this technique sure. if you find a trigger point. And if the name fits, you know, it's like, why, why fight <laughs> why fight nature, right? Right. Uh, so we can do the exact same thing with this, which I don't know if your back is ready for today, but the nice thing about this is it's adjustable, so you can make it a little bit wider and narrower, dependent on your size, uh, depending on where your trigger points are. Um, and it's, it's just a very simple, low-cost tool, any of these things. Tennis balls are free. Oh, sure. Um, another tool called the Theracane. It helps you reach behind your back. Taking uh, that one. The thing you lose with the handheld ones, though, is you don't have gravity working for you because as soon as you start to feel anything oh. tender, you're going to back off. Gravity pulls you down. You can't really fight gravity too well. Gosh, all right. Some good options here. 
taking all this stuff <laughs> home. I love it. All right. For more information on how you can get in touch with Mighty Joe, the personal trainer, we've got that information on the Take 5 homepage. We'll be right back with more Take 5.